Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Mr. Corby. Our topic for today is about how to compute combination of series and parallel circuit, total resistance, total current, total voltage, and power. Series Parallel Circuit A series parallel circuit, also called a combination circuit, is any circuit that combines both series and parallel connections. Although many applications exist for series or parallel circuits alone, most electronic circuits are actually a combination of the two. In general, series parallel or combination circuits are used when it is necessary to obtain different voltage and current values from a single supply voltage or VT. When analyzing combination circuits, the individual loss of series and parallel circuits can be applied to produce a much simpler overall circuit. For example, meron tayong ditong circuit na combination ng series at parallel. R1 is equal to 10 ohms, R2 is equal to 20 ohms, R3 30 ohms, and R4 40 ohms. At meron tayong 50 volts na voltage supply. Yung R1 at R2 ay connected sa parallel circuit, samantalang yung R3 at R4 ay connected in series circuit. Ngayon, simulan na natin ang pag-compute ng total resistance, total current, total voltage, at total power in a series and parallel circuit or combination circuit. First step, sa ganitong sample diagram, dapat muna nating kunin ang pinagsamang resistance ng R3 at R4. Sa pagkuha ng resistance, kapag pinagsama ang R3 at R4, ang magiging formula natin ay yung sa series circuit. R3 and 4 is equal to R3 plus R4. At yan ang ating magiging formula. R3, 30 ohms, plus R4, 40 ohms, is equal to 70 ohms. Balik tayo sa ating diagram. Dahil na-compute na natin ang R of 3 and R of 4, mababago na ang itsura ng diagram. At kung mapapansin nyo, yung ating R of 3 and 4 ay nakaparallel connection na sa ating diagram. Simulan na natin. Kunin na natin yung total resistance. Ang magiging formula natin, R of T is equal to 1 all over 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 and 4. I-substitute na natin, R of T is equal to 1 all over 1, yung R1 ay 10 ohms, plus 1 over R of 2 na 20 ohms, plus 1 over 70 na R of 3 and 4. Next, i-divide na natin ang bawat resistor na nasa denominator. 1 divided by 10 is equal to 0 0.1. 1 divided by 20 is equal to 0 0.05. 1 divided by 70 is equal to 0 0.014. Next, i-add ang lahat ng denominator. 0 0.1 plus 0 0.05 plus 0 0.014 is equal to 0 0.164. Next, divide na natin. 1 divided by 0 0.164 is equal to 6.09. At huwag natin kakalimutan yung unit na ohms. Ang total resistance ay 6.09 ohms. And this is our final answer. Let's continue. Compute natin yung total current. At ang magiging formula natin, I of T is equal to V of T over R of T. Take note. Yan yung formula sa Ohm's Law in finding total current. For the solution, V of T is equal to 50 volts. Divided by R of T is equal to 6.09 ohms. Is equal to 8.21 amperes. So yung circuit natin ay may total current na 8.21 amperes. Next process, kukunin natin yung dumaloy na current sa R1, sa R2, at R3. At kapag pinagsama-sama silang lahat, dapat ang magiging total current natin ay 8.21 amperes din. At ang ating magiging formula, I of 1 is equal to V of T over R of 1. Yung V of T ay 50 volts. Yung R of 1 ay 10 ohms. So 50 divided by 10 is equal to 5 amperes. 
ang dumaloy na current sa R of 1 is equal to 5 amperes. Next, I of 2 is equal to V of T over R of 2. V of T, 50 volts, divided by 20 ohms is equal to 2.5 amperes. Ang current na dumaloy sa R of 2 is equal to 2.5 amperes. Next, I of 3, 4 is equal to V of T over R of 3, 4. V of T, 50 volts, divided by R3, 4, 70 ohms, is equal to 0 0.71 amperes. Okay, i-add na natin silang tatlo. I of 1 plus I of 2 plus I of 3, 4 is equal to 5 amperes plus 2.5 amperes plus 0 0.71 amperes is equal to 8.21 amperes. Same sa pagkuha natin ng total current kanina. Next, since ang ating total resistance ay mayroong 6.09 ohms, i-check natin gamit ang ohms law kung same lang din ang magiging sagot. R of T is equal to V of T over I of T. V of T, 50 volts, divided by I of T, 8.21 amperes, is equal to 6.09 ohms. Same sa ating nakuhang total resistance kanina lang. Next, punta naman tayo sa voltage. Total voltage is equal to the all branches. So, ibig sabihin nito, lahat ng voltage na dumaloy sa resistor ay same lang din with 50 volts. Check natin gamit ang formula. V of 1 is equal to I of 1 times R of 1. I of 1, 5 amperes. R of 1, 10 ohms is equal to 50 volts. Same sa ating given na 50 volts. Ibig sabihin nito, 50 volts din ang dumaloy sa R of 1. V of 2 is equal to I of 2 times R of 2. I of 2, 2.5 amperes, times R of 2, 20 ohms, is equal to 50 volts. 50 volts ang dumadaloy na voltage sa R of 2. Next, V of 3, 4 is equal to I of 3, 4 times R of 3, 4. Sa ating solution, I of 3, 4 is equal to 0.71 amperes times R of 3, 4 is equal to 70 ohms. Ang magiging sagot, 49.7 volts. Pag ni-round off, 50 volts. Sa mga tuwid, ang dumadaloy na voltage sa R of 3, 4 ay 50 volts. Again, dahil nakaparallel, same lahat ang voltage na dumadaloy sa mga resistor. Next, kunin naman natin yung total power. P of T is the sum of the individual power in the circuit. So, magiging formula natin, P of T is equal to P1 plus P2 plus P3, 4. This time, kunin muna natin si P of 1. P of 1 is equal to I1 times E of T. Yung I of 1 natin, 5 amperes. E of T, 50 volts. 5 times 50 is equal to 250 watts. Next, P of 2 is equal to I of 2 times E of T. Sa ating solution, I of 2, 2.5 amperes, times E of T, 50 volts, is equal to 125 watts. And for the last, P of 3, 4 is equal to I of 3, 4 times E of T. Yung I of 3, 4 natin, 0.71 amperes, times E of T, 50 volts, is equal to 35.5 watts. I-add na natin lahat ng nakuha nating power. P1 plus P2 plus P3, 4. 250 plus 125 plus 35.5 is equal to 410 watts. At para malaman natin kung tama ang ating total power, gamitin natin yung formula ng Ohm's Law. P of T is equal to I of T times E of T. I of T natin, 8.21 amperes times E of T, 50 volts is equal to 410 watts. Same sa ating nakuwang total power. At ito ang mga tamang process sa pagkuha ng total resistance, total current, total voltage at power dissipated sa combination ng series and parallel circuit.